Welcome back, everybody, to another episode of ZetaCraft, where we here on Archibald Acres, and by we, I mean namely me, have been hard at work at creating an experience for all of you. Let me take you on a let me take you on a tour of this fantastic farm here. Here is our little starter farm. You know, you remember this from the last episode. We got the wheat; it's weeding. The pumpkins are pumpkining. The potatoes are potatoing, and the reeds are reeding. And oh, we can't forget the carrots. The carrots. The carrots are kind of shady. Okay. And as you see over here, you know, we've got more wheat. The wheat's weeding. The potatoes are potatoing. I even dug I even dug some water, a little river running through. This river, this river's rivering. The path here, this path is pathing. The carrots, carrots are still shady. Avoid them. The sheep are sheeping, the chickens are chickening, and the ominous banner is He's just standing there. Menacingly! All in all, it's a great day on the farm. As I said, in between episodes, I have been very hard at work. I've terraformed, I've terraformed much land, torn down many a trees. You know, this is the most environmentally unstable farm I think I've ever made, and for that, I'm very pleased. Wait until I show you... Oh, I can't show you that part yet. I'd get yelled at. Maybe later. Hello, chickens. Let me shove your... Let me throw your brood back at you. Heh. <laughs> Nailed him. So I've been very busy here. I've been very busy terraforming, digging water sources, chopping down trees. It's it's all been coming to a head. This has been a very, very productive, productive couple weeks here on the farm. And I've been procrastinating this build because Well, it's building. I, I always procrastinate building. It's it's almost tradition at this point. But I have a simple framework laid out here, and I'm very excited to get started on this. Because, again, I have procrastinated this long enough. I have a design in mind that I may or may not have stolen off of the internet. Quiet down there. And I'm, I'm very excited to, to get started on this. So, without further ado, let's get rolling. It's done. Simple as that. I I'm pr I saw this design done on uh, on well Minecraft Instagram of all things, and I really like it. So uh, what I'm gonna end up doing in here is I'm gonna yeah, I'm actually gonna make this like a there's actually I'm eventually down the line I'm going to put crops and things in here as well to kind of like be a breeding stock if uh, for some reason my Crops are ever wiped out by plague, pestilence, famine, you know, the usual stuff. I can always reseed it from what's in stock here. So let's take a look. I've got a thing here. It's very lovely. Doors. Man, I, I can't afford doors in real life, but Minecraft me can. It's got all the touches of home. A bed. Floor, ceiling. Did I mention it's got a bed? All the necessities of home. And as time goes on, I'll I'll slowly move in here. Maybe I'll plant. Uh, I'll plant something there. I'm sure. Now it would appear I need to widen my path just a hair more. And eventually build a bridge. So some of you, uh, some of you handsome viewers, might be thinking, you know, what's your plan? Well, that's the beauty of it, my dear viewers. I have no plan. I'm more or less winging it here. My long-term plan is to be growing mass quantities of mass quantities of crops along here. Maybe I'll have this tr a tree-lined path here. That would be pretty cool. A nice tree line path. Maybe like a really nice looking entrance over here. Fence in the whole area. You know, we'll make the area look really, really nice. In the meantime, we got some choring to do. First things first, I would like to expand this wheat field. As you can see, I've already been working very hard on moving away from our original or working away from our original 
uh, seeding plot there into something a bit bigger and a little bit more robust, in my opinion. So what I'm thinking here is the wheat field I want to extend, uh, kind of keep on this side of the river and extend more or less to the path. Uh, let's see here. So I'm thinking one, two, maybe lining trees here. So I'll kind of mark that. Oh, wait, no. I want to mark that for trees. Yeah. Mark that for trees. Uh, maybe a like a fence post here. So about to here is where I want this to this whole field to extend to. And then out to here, I'm kind of feeling in this vicinity it'll extend out to it's it's going to be a big wheat field and you know kind of depending on the the food needs of this server there's a market for it i may extend it even further there's only one downside to fields this big i have to pluck this all by hand this would be so much easier if i had farm hands if i had labor to exploit Ooh, ooh. There's a village over there. Oh. Do I exploit the masses this early? No, no, no. It's too early to exploit the workforce. But at the same time, it would be insanely profitable for me. Because they work for nothing. Hmm. Yeah, we could set up a little automated farm using villagers. That... Could be very fun and very profitable indeed. All my wood is back here. I'm going to need to... Am I already going to need to set up mass storage? Yeah, I think I'm already going to need to set up mass storage. That's a shame. I was hoping to avoid a mass storage system this early. Well, I... It's not pretty. But it's storage. And, you know, in the end... That's all I can really ask for. Now, as I was sitting here contemplating existence, I realized something. I don't have a real good plan for my pumpkins or my watermelons. Or even my reeds. You see, what I picture here right now is that wheat is going to be the main export of this farm. We're going to do potatoes. We'll do carrots, even though they're kind of shady. I would like to do reeds for paper. A reeds and reeds for paper is going to be another tough one to make look nice and work. Maybe we do, uh, maybe we do carrots on this side of the, of this little, uh, of this little stream, my little river. Potatoes on this side. But pumpkins and watermelons, I don't know. Also, I'm really not sure on reeds. Let's think about this here. Let's, let's, you know, let's lay out Archibald Acres. So originally I was thinking, and you can see that over here, we'll lay potatoes out on this side of the, on this side of the river. My little stream, my river, uh, whatever you want to call it. But I don't think that's going to work. Because I think I'm going to want to set up farm buildings here. Storage, uh, maybe processing facilities. Uh, processing facilities, who am I kidding? Uh, I'm, used to, I'm used to FTB. I play a lot of FTB. So I do a lot of processing. But I've, I'm thinking I'm going to want to set up farm buildings over here. Eventually getting rid of this little, uh, this little starter, starter garden. So does that leave... Hmm, where does that leave us with... Maybe I extend the entrance out to Archibald Acres further... And have this nice big flat spot here before my potatoes and my water... I'm sorry, my watermelons and my pumpkins. Yeah. I can dig it. See? I, I just... I, I, I dug it. You, 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 you get the joke? It's a, it's a pun. It's a joke. Ah, you don't know what's good. I've been plowing this field for too long. My hoe's getting worn out. Wow, that actually is staying saturated. I... I have no clue how water works anymore. I really don't. Is water shady? Ooh, did I just make a... 
I don't know what I just did there. Whoa! That was neat. Huh. Oh, that was odd. My water was the water wasn't filling in there. That was that was kinda cool. My mother always told me I would never get anywhere hoeing around like this. I have a farm, Mom! What do you have? Other than a 401k, social security, a house, did I mention retirement, a pension, and a son who loves you very much. I need to have way less ambition next time. It is taking far too long to hoe this field. I can't take it anymore! There's too much hoeing! I need to hoe around too much to be a farmer. I quit, I'm hanging up my hoe, and I'm leaving. Thank you.